Hello, my name is Ian Wright. I'm a certified senior client technical specialist with the IBM Corporation. And in this video, we're going to be discussing migration with the IBM Storewise V7000. If you have an existing SAN and want to migrate your current disk systems data to the IBM Storewise V7000, the process is actually very easy. First, we're going to go to the Storage Pools icon and click on Migration. This brings us to the Migration window where we can click on Start a New Migration to open the Storage Migration Wizard. At this point, we just have some restrictions and prerequisites that we have to make sure of. We can migrate any data in the Storewise V7000, but if we want to use the wizard, then we need to assume that these things are all true. Then there's some steps that we need to take before we start. We need to stop all the, uh, the host servers, and we need to remove them from, uh, from mapping and zoning uh, to the currently existing disk system. At that point, we need to actually zone the old disk system to the IBM Storewise V7000. This is going to then start scanning for the currently existing managed disks that are available. Uh, in our case, we are going to select Manage Disk Zero. This is simply a LUN that exists on the old disk system. When we click Next, this actually creates a volume in image mode. This means that the volume is exactly as it was before the IBM Storewise V7000 presented it. It is physically the same, it's on the same drives, and the data for that LUN or volume is completely unchanged. The Storewise V7000 is simply presenting an active image of it. So now that the volume exists, the wizard asks us to make sure that our hosts are configured and zoned correctly. Then we need to take our volume and map it to our host. With that completed, we need to select the storage pool that we want to migrate the data over to. And now the migration has started. Because the environment is virtualized, our volume is continuously presented to the host while the migration occurs in the background. So the application can be restarted at this point, and it's not going to have any awareness of the migration at all. At this point, the data is simply being copied in the background between the old LUN on the external disk system and the new LUN that is on our internal disk in the IBM Storewise V7000. So we're going to pause the video here and skip ahead when the migration has completed. Now that the progress on our migration is up to 100%, we can finalize. At this point, the migration has been removed. We are no longer doing any copying. And we have one volume in our migration demo pool that is mapped to a host. So that is how easy migration is with the IBM Storewise V7000. For further information on the IBM Storewise V7000 or on its migration capabilities, you can go to this website or simply contact your IBM sales specialist or your IBM business partner. Thank you very much for your time. And special thanks to the Advanced Technical Skills Team in Gaithersburg, Maryland, specifically Gonzalo Fuentes, Dominic Pruitt, and Bill Wiegand for making the IBM Storewise V7000 available for these videos and for other support in their creation.